What is up everybody? It's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at Pleasant View. This is a world created by Pleasant Sims and also a friend of hers named Caleb. This world is a Pleasant View from The Sims 2 made in The Sims 3. This world I don't think it's like a 1-1 recreation. I think this is the second version of the world and I don't think it's like a 1-1 recreation. I think there was like some stuff added here and there but it is however basically Pleasant View in The Sims 3. Now this world requires you to have the base game and late night and it's recommended that you have the pets expansion pack and ambitions you don't technically need to have pets or ambitions but you know if you do have them it's recommended you will however need late night because this bridge right here comes from late night and if you don't have it installed your sims cannot access the military career or this little pond out here either so you're going to definitely need to have late night this world also does have a save file which is what i'm playing on right now so i am over here in the uh don lothario household so i think he's like right here right so we have don lothario's house and then we also have like nina and dina right next door to him so it does have the sims from the sims 2 in this world as well there's a lot more information that you can read up on on the download page so i'll just leave it linked down below for you to read up on but let's go ahead and get into the video so why don't we start i don't know why don't we just start maybe over here at this park this is the woodland park so why don't we go ahead and start over here first okay so out here though you have a place to sit by the tree you have like this little gazebo so let's open this up real quick so underneath it you just have one park bench there's also like another one over there you have a swing set and then over here you have like a really nice big pond where you can have your sims come and fish going over this way you have some chess tables out here there's also the bathrooms over here as well so you have your bathrooms there's also like a little bridge that you can have your sims come and walk over and it leads over here to this part so you have a grill some tables another park bench and honestly i think that's pretty much it for this little area though there is like a place right here where you can come and sit underneath this tree but that's pretty much it for this lot so why don't we go ahead and go across the street to the woodland cemetery so we're down here at the woodland cemetery so you have your mausoleum out here in the middle you also have like a little like sheltered spot so let's open this up so i guess this is an area where you can have like funerals i'm guessing so you have places to sit there's a little keyboard and then you have a bunch of flowers i'm guessing this is like to represent maybe like an altar or maybe like a casket or something like that but i'm guessing you can have like funerals here if you wanted to you could also if you wanted to replace this with a wedding arch and have your sims come and get married out here if you wanted to as well i don't really see anything else over here there is a grave over here in the back this one is skip broke's grave so you know he's out here but i think that's pretty much it for this lot though so why don't we go next door to it this is the playground so it's like right out here by the school let's just check this out so down here you have two swings sets you have two slides and you have like a little playhouse and then there's also some places to sit down but i think that's pretty much it you know it is out here by the school and the hospital and stuff like that and you know you have like your bistro over here and your grocery store so you have like things around in the area you know all right so why don't we go back here and why don't we check out the pleasant memorial library all right so let's go ahead and open up this library a lot to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in, you have a place to sit by the door. There are some tables in here. You have some computer desk over here in the corner. Going over this way, you have plenty of bookshelves. You also have like another place to sit over here in the corner. There's another computer desk in here as well. There's even like a little fishbowl, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, you have like a little children's like area over here. It has like a little gate too. So I guess you can kind of lock them in if you want. <laughs> but anyway, though, you have a dollhouse. There's also some more bookshelves, a little desk over here. So you can have your kids do homework here if you want to. Going over this way, you have like a little stove, an activity table, a toy box. You have some chairs over here as well. You even have like a little chalkboard over here too. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but going back over this way, though, you have some places to sit. You have some bookshelves. You have like a skill building room over here. So you have some art easels there's also a chess table so you can have your sims come and build skills here if you want to there's also a bathroom over here in the hallway and you have like another place to sit down but honestly though i think that's pretty much it for this lot all right so let's go ahead and go next door to it and let's check out the playtime fitness so this is a gym lot so we're down here at the playtime fitness so let's go ahead and open this up real quick so over here you have weight machines by the front door there's also like a mirror and a tv 
going over this way you have a room with some treadmills there's another tv in here as well and going back over this way you have your bathrooms it's also kind of cool though because the bathrooms have these dressers that your sims can use to change clothes you also have some more weight machines over here in this corner and then when you go up the stairs you have like a little yoga section so there is a yoga mod for the sims 3 that you can come and download so i guess you can get like more use out of this spot if you want it to but otherwise it is just like a little you know room with some rugs in it and then going over this way you have a bar there's also a fridge and a coffee machine and then you have some tables so i guess this is more like a little kitcheny like you know recreational area and then out here on the little balcony you also have a hot tub so you can also have your sims come and like relax after a nice long workout but i think that's pretty much it for this lot let's go ahead and go across the street this is the pleasant view community pool so we're down here at the pleasant view community pool let's go ahead and open it up real quick so why don't we start over here so over here you just have your bathrooms in the middle it leads you to this room i guess this is like the little lobby area slash like check-in desk and stuff like that you also have like a fridge here so you can have your sims come and get food you have some dart boards over here as well going over this way you have like another like lobby area where you can come and sit down i'm gonna scroll up just to make sure i'm not missing anything so no it's just like a one-story building but out here you have some tables you also have like some chess tables out here too you have places where your sims can come and lounge there's a nice swimming pool you have a grill so you can have your sims come and cook out here if you want to you have some swing sets and then there's also some more places to sit down let's go ahead and keep moving on so i'm gonna skip over the houses for right now i am gonna come back to them a little bit later on but i want to look at all of the different community lots first so i think there's some over here so let's go over here so we have like this pond it doesn't really have a name so let's just check this out first just to see so we're down here at this area you have a nice pond you can have your sims come and fish there's also some park benches and picnic tables. There's also a grill. There's also like another park bench over there. And then you also have some harvestables. So you have apple tree. There's also bell pepper plant and stuff like that. There's also some tomato out here and you have onion and there's also a potato vine. So you have some harvestables out here if you need it. But I think that's pretty much it for this lot though. All right, so let's just go over here. I think this is the last one. This is the military parking. So I'm thinking this is just like a parking lot. Let's just check it out. Yeah, so this appears to just be a parking lot it has like a little building right here so let's open this up so on the inside though you just have a table and a trash can that's pretty much it but it is like the parking lot for the military career rabbit hole by the way okay y'all so that was the last community lot in the world now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to some of the residentials you know what why don't i start off by showing y'all the house that i'm already at anyway this is where don lothario lives so let's just check this house out first so before we check out his house i kind of want to get a good look at don lothario hey don let me look at his outfit too okay it's giving like sims 2 i think in a sims 2 he has brown shoes but like honestly you could just change that if you want to but all right hey don anyway let's check out his house so when you oh this is like very accurate to how it looks in the sims 2 like honestly very very accurate you have his couch so you have like your living room area you have your bathroom in the back you have your kitchen set up you have your weight machine computer desk there's also a stereo a table that only has one chair okay and then when you go upstairs you have his bedroom and there's also like his dresser and then out here you have your balcony so you have your stereo you also have your bar places to sit and then when you go upstairs again you have have your telescope up here okay all right i see you don it's literally pointed right at nina and dina's house like what's going on there don <laughs> and then there's also a hot tub but that is pretty much it for don lothario's house now why don't we check out nina and dina's house since it's right next door to his like i mean we might as well like let's look let's look at the twins real quick hey nina and dina <laughs> it's definitely giving nina and dina okay well let's go ahead and check out their house so let's go ahead and open it up so on the inside you have your weight machine you have their little living room set up okay with a little tv and the rug down here you got your bookshelf back there over here you have your kitchen which are allen countertops uh you also have a table and a coffee machine when you go upstairs you have a bedroom here you also have like a little balcony out here where you can come and sit down it's like a jack and jill so you know they share a bathroom so you have like a bathroom here and you have like another bedroom and then when you go upstairs it leads you to the top of the house so you have a bar a place to lounge their lounge chairs are like pointed towards don house like that's probably why he got the telescope let's be real anyway <laughs> but you do have a hot tub out here as well so over here we have the goth family let's check them out next y'all look at cassandra and mortimer and then you got alexander in the background they standing in a rope 
<laughs> okay. Well, anyway, y'all, we're down here at the Goth family house. It looks very accurate to how it looks in The Sims 2. Does it have like a little wedding set up in the back? It does. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, let's check this out first. Wait a minute, y'all. Not them getting married out here in the backyard. Wait, who's buried out here? Bella. Bella's buried in the backyard, y'all. Oof. Well, anyway, <laughs> well, we have like a little wedding area back out here. In The Sims 3's base game, there is no wedding arch. They didn't come until like uh generations i believe and i think there's like some store content wedding arches but in the sims 3 base game you don't have wedding arches so instead we have these curtains that's kind of like in the shape of a wedding arch so you could definitely replace this with that if you want to but you do have some places to sit down you have your buffet table some more tables out here as well but i really want to check out this house so let's go ahead and open it all the way up so on the inside you have your piano by the front door you got your bathroom your den area over here with like a chess table over here, you have your dining room, your kitchen in the corner, and then upstairs, you have your bedrooms. I think this is Cassandra's bed. This one has to be Alexander. And I'm guessing this is Mortimer and Bella's bedroom over here too. And they have like their own ensuite bathroom, by the way. It's kind of like a wraparound though, because they have their own ensuite, but it also kind of leads into this other bathroom that Alexander has. So it's like a wraparound basically. Um, but let's go ahead and go upstairs again. So up here, you have like an attic with just a art easel. And then when you scroll upstairs, you have a telescope on the rooftop. So like whose house is this pointing towards like who who live over here we got to check out that house soon <laughs> it's pointed right next to that house well anyway let's go ahead and keep moving on y'all so i am going to go into edit town mode because i want to make sure i'm not missing like any other families or anything like that okay so this house that's right beside theirs is 105 sim lane i don't think anyone lives here but i kind of want to check it out just to see what it looks like since the listen since that telescope was pointed directly at it i need to see what this house looking like oh this house is cute hold on y'all this house is kind of cute let's go Go ahead and open it up real quick just to see what it looks like on the inside can i like turn the grid off kind of <laughs> okay so this house has some unfurnished rooms so you're gonna definitely have to furnish those if y'all would like to i could maybe furnish this for a youtube video like i don't mind but over here though you have a kitchen you have a dining room in the back you have like a deck space out here so upstairs though you just have bathrooms you'll have to furnish all the other rooms if you want to but yeah this is like a really cute house though i would definitely furnish this for like a video or something all right y'all so we have the oldie family and then we also have the burb family why don't we check out the oldie family first listen i'm not really super well versed on a lot of these households y'all so if i do say something wrong let me know like i know like very specific ones right so i don't know everybody to be real all right y'all so we're down here at the oldie household let's open this up real quick oh their house is empty on the inside hold on did i do something right <laughs> Y'all, their house is like completely empty. Oh, uh, okay, y'all. I looked it up because I was really confused. This family is in the bin in The Sims 2, so they don't really show up in the world. You have to place them down. That is why I was so confused. That's probably why the house is empty. <laughs> so, but anyway, though, they have a kitchen. They also have a bathroom. You have a couple of rooms, you know, so you could definitely like, you know, add more onto it if you want them to live here. Y'all, I was so confused. I was like, what the heck is going on? Okay, so now we have the Burb family. Let's go ahead and go over to this household. Okay, so this is the Burb family. I I think they're also another family that's listed in the bin in the sims 2 so you have to like place them down if you want to play with them though but this is what they look like if y'all were kind of wondering though all right i see y'all <laughs> again the sims standing in a row y'all i can i just can't get over that but we're down here at this house let's open it up to see what's on the inside so this one appears to be kind of unfurnished like the last one we saw it does have a bathroom in the corner and then at the bottom it just has another bathroom and it has a kitchen so you're gonna have to add more onto this house if you want to play in it and stuff like that so next up we have the broke family let's go ahead and check them out next all right y'all so we're down here at the broke family house so we have Bo down here he's thinking about a swimming pool right now I'm like okay Bo i see you we also have everybody's think about pools honestly but anyway we have brandy down here and then we also have her son dustin so again they're all out here in the front yard why don't we go ahead and check out the trailer though Ooh, yo hold on it's looking kind of cool not somebody call on the phone like what y'all want <laughs> ignore <it. laughs> please ignore that can i just ignore that real quick anyway so inside of the house though we have it skip broke has drowned the pool looked so inviting but skip broke should have just stayed out of the water what the heck you know what yeah he is yeah we did see his grave earlier didn't we <laughs> anyway though we have the kitchen we have a little living room set up we have a bedroom over here we have a bathroom we have little bo's uh crib i think that's like you know that's dustin's room by the way he has a computer desk in here isn't in the 
seeing the normal house, isn't there like an arcade cabinet somewhere? Maybe this is what the computer is supposed to represent, an arcade cabinet, I'm guessing. But then you also have, you know, Brandy's room over here, which looks really nice and cute. There's even like a little potty in here too. I didn't even see that. And then in the backyard, we got the swimming pool. I'm guessing that's how Skip must have died, which is really sad. But yeah, y'all, we got that little trailer really cute okay y'all so i think we only have one more family to check out and i think that is the pleasant family if i'm not mistaken and i think they live like over here yeah they live over here let's just check their house out next hey pleasant family we got angela down here she looking so upset right now we got daniel pleasant we got mary sue and then we got lilith in the background hey Lilith. well oh, i like this outfit okay it's giving paramore vibes love it <laughs> but anyway um this is their house it's a really nice tudor styled house let's just go ahead and open it up to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have a kitchen area over here you have your dining room out here in the back you have a little deck space that leads out to a swing set they also have a pool out here and they also have like a little area to sit down at in the back going over this way you have a tv a weight machine a little stereo by the front door oh my gosh y'all look at the bathroom <laughs> definitely giving sims 2 vibe you have like two bathrooms though so this one just has a toilet this one just has a tub on the inside of it over here you have a living room you have a bedroom downstairs over here in the corner and then when you scroll upstairs you have the bedrooms so you have angela's bedroom over here with the computer you also have a bathroom in the hallway and then over here on this side you have lilith's bedroom all right y'all so i think that was the last family house in this world why don't we check out a couple of the other houses so why don't we maybe Maybe check out this really big one right here this is the 113 right way house i think this is like one of the empty houses or like one of the uninhabited houses in the sims 2 y'all have to let me know if i say something wrong but i think this is one of the pre-made houses in the sims 2 let's just go ahead and open this up to see what it looks like on the inside though so when you come in you have two bathrooms right here by the door you have a little sitting room area over here going out here in the back you have a nice swimming pool you have some places to lounge there's a hot tub out here over here you have like another sitting area with a fireplace you have a living room area over here with the fireplace there's a bathroom and then you also have a kitchen over here too you have a little patio area out here at the end there's a hot tub and then when you scroll upstairs though so when you go upstairs you have two bedrooms right here they both share a bathroom over here you have another bathroom another sitting area and then over here you have another bedroom with this on ensuite bathroom and then over here you pretty much have the same exact thing as well let me try to scroll up again to make sure i'm not missing anything so i think that was it for this house it's like really really big y'all all right y'all so why don't we check out maybe another house why don't we check out this big white one over here next okay y'all so we're down here at this big white house it's right behind the pleasant's household but let's just scroll all the way down so this house appears to be kind of unfurnished you do have some furniture however However, like a kitchen a bathroom you have like a little table out here um, but it is largely unfurnished so upstairs you just have a bathroom as well and you just have like more bathrooms up here and i think that's pretty much it though for this house there is a gazebo out here in the back so you do have some places to sit down underneath but i think that is pretty much it for this house why don't we check out maybe another one of these trailers and maybe like another one of these kind of houses so maybe we'll check out this trailer first okay so we're down here at this trailer home Let's go ahead and open it up. So on the inside, it only appears to have a kitchen and a bathroom. The other rooms are unfurnished. So I'm really wondering about this one right here. Let's see if this one is furnished or not. So this one is also unfurnished. It just has a kitchen and a bathroom as well. Okay, so let's just check out one more house. Why don't we check out this one over here at the end? So let's just scroll down really quick just to see what's on the inside. So this one is also kind of unfurnished. You just have a bathroom and a kitchen and a back door, but I think that's pretty much it upstairs you only have one bathroom as well so that's pretty much it though for this house but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below again this world is called pleasant view and i think it's really really nice like it's really giving me that sims 2 vibe i mean you even kind of have like a little beachy area out here too that's kind of cool <laughs> uh, but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video i will see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching